gospel. But you know why? Because God is training me to do what I got to do, and that's sharing Him with people that need it. And if that means going to jail with Joel and Brett, I'm going to. Now let me tell you something, okay? I'm in Iraq, and I wasn't planning on talking about this, but I'm in Iraq, and I'm calling my wife, and I'm talking to her. She's, she was, was one of the first ones that went with Brett uh, to jail, to the Scott County Jail as a chaplain for the women. And I'm sitting on the phone in my office, and I got six other guys in my office with me, and I'm talking to her on the phone, and I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, you're going to jail tonight? Okay, that's no problem. I'll give you a call after you get out. I hang up the phone, and I got 12 sets of eyeballs about this big around looking at me like, and I'm like, what? They're like, your wife's going to jail, and you don't have a problem with it? No, I don't have a problem because she's a chaplain. Oh, okay. But they didn't know that. So I'm talking on the phone and they got freaked out because my wife's going to jail. <laughs> so watch what you say when you don't have people understanding what's going on. If you read this whole thing, but if you love those who love you, what credit is it? You know, it's easy to love brothers in Christ and sisters in Christ. Because they love you back. But how about loving those guys like Jeff and I work with, Justin? Uh, we have some characters that we really work with. Yeah, we, we do have some characters. And you got Billy. <laughs> those guys you got to love too. God, no, I don't want to love them. My first appearance of out there was I had Jason. Jason has tattoos from here all the way down. He's got three piercings in his cheek. He's got pierced ears. He is covered with tattoos. And I walked in the door and I seen him. And he works on the mall line. And I'm working in building four across from in my area. And the first thing that went through my own mind was, Lord, what did you do to me this time? Do you understand? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do not do good to those who do good to you, what credit do you? See, for sinners do the same thing. Will you lead by example? I want you to think about that line. Will you lead by example? Are you willing to serve your wife? Are you willing to serve those in authority over you? Pastor Joel? Right? These two men are the men that I am accountable to. This is my pastor, but he's also my son-in-law. This is my man that I am responsible to for jails. He is the head chaplain of Scott County. Are you willing to submit to the authority that God places over time here? Are you willing to honor them the way God asks you to? Why am I asking that? The question is, are you willing to honor your wife? Are you willing to serve her? I've asked Brother Scott to help me because he serves under Joel too as we do praise and worship and we help with the teaching and stuff in church. And I'm doing this because it's an honor to do this for these two. They're the two who started this conference. They're the two of the ones that are working to make it happen. And yes, I will honor them, and I will serve under them. And I respect their authority. My question, are you guys willing to do that to your ministers? You who are deacons, 
you'll listen to what your pastor says.